For many years, multi-room audio has been dominated by the likes of Sonos, but if the past 12 months are anything to go by, that could be about to change. We've seen big names like Samsung and Panasonic jumping on the bandwagon, and also a few things from some more unknown names. Here we have just that, a range from a company called Blue Sound. It's USP high-res audio, something many hi-fi fans have been waiting for from a multi-room system. And it's got some real hi-fi background as well, boasting many of the same people behind it as from respected hi-fi brand NAD. We've got most of the range here today, so let's take a look at what each one has to offer. This is the Pulse, and it's probably what most people would picture when they think of a multi-room audio system. It's an all-in-one speaker with three specialised drive units, one 13cm subwoofer in the middle and two full-range 7cm uh, aluminium cone drivers either side, hidden behind this aluminium grille. Each is independently driven by three dedicated direct digital amplifiers, creating a combined output of 80 watts. It's a very clean design, not much going on. Apart from on the top, we do have a touch sensitive panel for controlling things like volume and track. So spinning it round, we've got the back panel that's got all of its connectivity on. At the top here, we've got a mini USB, which is actually just for servicing. We've got an optical in, a A-type USB for connecting things like USB um, thumb drives, a LAN port here for hardwiring to your router, and of course, the power socket. So what else is there to tell you about it? Well, it's a nicely made bit of kit. It feels really sturdy and pretty hefty. It is a bit of a fingerprint magnet as most glossy bits of kit tend to be. It's the only speaker in the Blue Sound range to be an all-in-one uh, speaker system. And of course, that all-important price. It'll be on sale for £599. Next up, we have the Vault, and it's a little different to the rest of the range in that it's a wireless streaming music player and CD ripper all in one, uh, with a one terabyte high capacity hard drive built in. The CD drive on the front right here allows you to feed in your entire CD collection and have it ripped in bit perfect, lossless, high res formats using industry standard open source ripping software. No computer required. Turning it round, you can also hook it up to your home network using the Ethernet port and find high res music stored on a NAS or a computer and make it multi room. There's also a USB port here so you can plug in a USB key with high res music as well. There's an audio file grade DAC on board, both um, optical and stereo outs, and it supports a large number of standard audio formats, including FLAC, WAV, AAC, and MP3. In the box, you'll find both RCA to RCA and RCA to mini jack cables, which will enable you to connect the, uh, the vault to an existing system or a dock system, for example. And it's worth noting that you will have to keep the vault uh, plugged into your home network at all times, but it does come with a two meter ethernet cable in the box to help with that. The vault will set you back 899 pounds. Now we come to the node and the power node. Over here, the node is a non-amplified wireless streaming music player that packs a high quality 24 bit 192 kilohertz DAC and can be connected to any existing stereo system whereas the power node is completely amplified in itself and can just be hooked straight up to a pair of speakers. So on the back of the node, you'll find the same USB and ethernet ports as on the other models in the range and a pair of stereo outs. Whereas on the back of the power node, you'll find a subwoofer out and a pair of speaker terminals. It's capable of a 90 watt output and Blue Sound tell us it can drive even the most high end of speakers. That extra convenience will set you back a little bit more money though. The power node is £599, whereas the regular node is £399. So those are the speakers, but how do you control them all? Well, there is an app that you can download which will bring all of your music all into one place to make it really easy to control. I've got it here on an iPhone, and if you open it up and start from the top, there's the optical input, so that's for um, controlling whatever you might have hardwired into your speaker. Next up, you've got streaming services. Now there's a whole host of different ones you can plug in. I've got TuneIn Radio, Audio, and Spotify here. You can add some more by uh, popping into the Configure Player and configuring music services. As you can see, there's things like Deezer, Quobuzz, and uh, a few others there as well. If you choose TuneIn or, or Audio, I've got Audio plugged in here. You can see it's basically like Audio's app within um, the Blue Sound app. If you were to choose Spotify, it is Spotify Connect, so you would have to open up the Spotify app and choose the uh, speaker. We've got the Pulse here from the menu that way. 
Next up, you've got the playlist menu. So you can check what's playing now, you can clear it, edit it, save it, and also you can get a list of all of your various playlists in one place as well. Then we've got the um, configure player menu as we were just in a moment ago. And this allows you to get um, your player onto the Wi-Fi network. You can change its name, tweak its audio settings. Um, configure network shares is how you connect up um, network drives, NAS drives, um, maybe perhaps if you've got files you want to share on your computer. Uh, that's the music services one we were just in. Um, looking at your other players that you have on your network, backing up playlists, deleting indexes, things like that, checking up for upgrades. So anything you want to kind of any bit of housekeeping that you want with, with the player, you'll find in the configure network menu. Um, configure player menu, sorry. Uh, then you've got the settings menu, you've got things like re-indexing your music collection. So if you were to add something to your NAS drive and you wanted it to, put, to appear in the app, you just have to re-index it. Uh, reloading artwork, putting basically all the songs on a random play. Then down here in the help, you've got a step-by-step -step guide on setting up a new player and also kind of an idea about what uh, version of the app and the Blue OS software the speaker you've got is running. If we just pop back to the home screen, the only other thing to show you really is this up here, which um, lists all of the speakers that you will have on your network. So if you've got a multi-room system going on, we've only got one connected at the moment, but should, they, uh, should you have more, they would appear in a list and then you can group them together so you could play various songs in certain rooms and have other players independent. So that's the app and first impressions are pretty good. It seems like a really simple way of bringing all of your music into one place to play back through the Blue Sound system. Um, the app is available for iOS and Android and there are iPad and tablet specific versions too. And best of all, it's free to download. So that was our brief overview of the new Blue Sound multi-room system. Of course, all of them are capable of 24-bit, 192 kilohertz resolution playback. That is their USP after all. And as you can see from the range, they're all available in a choice of white or black gloss. It's our first look at them as well, so we'll be getting down to reviewing them very soon. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled on whatHiFi.com for our thoughts on the full range very soon.